think that uh, we figured out we had something when we wrote this song called Body Parts. It's really actually the first song we ever wrote together, just the two of us. And it was a, a story, but we sort of had, there was like a tag rap in it where we were going back and forth and narrating of the story, each playing a different character. And that was where we first came up with the dynamic of really like rapping back and forth, I think. And uh, I think that was really the foundation for everything. From there, it just got a lot more complex, but that was the, that was the jump off. A song called Body Parts. Yeah, yeah production-wise, uh, we got Lenny D to do the whole thing. He's a... Uh, He's really good at his craft and what have you, and we were just throwing around the idea. We knew it was time to drop another album, but we didn't know as far as like what we were gonna do and who we were gonna do it with. To uh, to have Lenny produce the whole thing just kind of just kind of came up. It's more or less an idea. We had a couple other projects in the work at the time, and we decided to uh, throw all our uh, efforts into into the playground. And uh, we basically, uh, you know, some of the songs were adapted to beats and then other songs were written were written to beats and we basically uh we basically just uh smashed it out we we were getting together every monday from like 11 to 4 be it just to like hear beats or just like hang out or whatever or talk about where the album was going or whether we already had like three or four songs lined up we just uh we just got on a schedule and kind of disciplined ourselves and stuck to that schedule and got it done we also got a uh, all the guest appearances are Nate Sounds members as well we kind of wanted to solidify what Nate Sounds is being as like this is the release after Alpha so uh yeah basically man like you said they came together we were uh we had done a, a few tracks like for Alpha a couple other projects you know messing around and it's kind of everything worked well you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. so we decided like you know, yeah, yeah, we trying to get full length so at that point you know I kind of sat down and just started trying to make stuff that be more geared towards what they're doing already you know specifically tailored to Seth's crew and um we just pro I probably made what like 30 30 40 beats total something like that and then it got narrowed down to what it is now um and basically it was just what works best you know what's the best for the momentum of the album and all this and that and man, i don't know I, you know when i listen to it now man it sounds somewhat complex in a way man there's a lot going on you know in a lot of these songs and i i also like it for the fact that there's a lot of moods that we hit you know it's not just one style of you know there's a lot of stuff there's the chill stuff there's like the you know this the, the stage show stuff so I mean, I don't know. It hits everything. I like. I like the diversity of that. I mean, that's what we were shooting to have something like you could listen to after multiple, you know, times and still get something from from it. You know. Yeah, it's different. I mean, because it's like the Ses Crew music. You know, doing their music is like you know different from doing a Deep Thinkers album or doing something you know, Cuddy or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like so. Yeah, but I mean, it, it's basically you know. We tried to find the stuff that worked the best and then kind of just uh, carve it out, sculpt it just right. And, you know, but I'm definitely happy with the tools. Well, first off, I'm, uh, I'm pleased with the scene. I feel like there's a lot of competition, which is good, which is good for the scene, I feel like. And uh, there are a lot of creative cats and I, and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't influenced by everybody who's doing something, even if I don't fucking like their shit. That's just another thing. But, um, and as far as from what this came from, I, uh, you know, been doing it for quite a minute. I feel like I helped build it. I feel like I helped nurture it, you know, to what it is now. So, ag again, like, even when I go out of town and get it in and experience other places, and I'm always in interested to see what their scene is like, but, but nobody gets it in like Kansas City, man. We, uh, we got a lot of dudes doing stuff and, like, Thusly, we haven't really developed a sound, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's kind of on their own thing, and that's cool. I think that's real cool. And like I said, even if I don't really dig your shit, I'm st I still appreciate the dude getting it in and doing whatever he feels, you know what I mean? And, I mean, yeah, we got a, we got a nice scene, man. I go, I've been around, and uh, cats are always surprised when they come to Kansas City and see what our scene is like, from the music to, like, the DJs. And our graph scene's pretty tight, too. We got some ill writers and stuff, so... uh. Yeah, that's how I feel about it, man. It's all good. And uh, I, I wish the best for everybody, even if I don't really dig your shit. I think, I mean, I think from where there was nothing, there is definitely something now. Uh, 
it used to it used to be they didn't really let a lot of hip hop into the actual heart of Westport for real, like performances. Um, and uh, you know we got in <laughs> for better or for worse. We we can't get in power and light, but we can. Uh, but we got Westport though. Um, so that's a big step in the right direction. Um, also, <laughs> being that tech was is is you know at the forefront of Kansas City hip hop. Um, everybody that came underneath him did dominate the image of the scene for a while. And for a while he was running with rogue dogs and things like this, to where like people really thought Tech was on some like gangst gangster thug shit, and they would shut down hip hop based on them thinking that that was what Kansas City had to offer for a hip hop venue. But you know, and that's not even necessarily true. But that was the rep that we got. So we, I think we broke past that, and everything's uh, bubbling around and mixing up a lot more. <coughs> Both sides of truce used to be a clear defined line on truce, and now that's getting a little fudged. Cats are hopping across the line and working together, so I think that's really dope. Yeah. You can always keep up with this uh, on, a, on the website, and that's just cescru.com, cescru.com. But we also are on Facebook, you know, slash cescru, everything cescru, MySpace slash cescru, or on Twitter slash cescru. Um, so you can get at us always on the web. Um, we're heavy, heavily affiliated with Innate Sounds, so innatesounds.com is another spot where you can catch up with us and see blogs about what's popping with us and our crew and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, we, we do our merchandise through psychonomics.com right now, but uh, we're looking into going independent shortly, so I don't know. That's, what, that's what's up with that. You can always cop music on iTunes. You can always cop music at Seth's Crew Shows. So. This is what's hot in the streets right now, if y'all don't know. This is a... Uh our newest full-length album titled The Playground. We got a 19 of the damnedest on here for y'all. And if you uh, are watching this, it's probably already too late, but it's going for $5 tonight. And the first 50 are gonna get a free copy of that. So, and this is banging. To me, this is uh, this better than anything we've ever done this far. So, there's that. Iron Giant also on sale tonight. Mixtape we put out, you know what I mean? It's, it's a lot of jewels on there for y'all. Uh, Look out for the uh, the feud of the Fucked Up Truth Academy, which mixtape coming out. That is another uh, another installation of various members, various uh, hip hop members who uh, we've all come together once again to do this big mind fuck of a musical. I don't even fucking know, but that's already in the works. We're in the lab right now, in the studio right now, getting that done. Uh, Season in the Hell 2, still sitting on the back burner. I know we told y'all to the fans, my bad. I was supposed to be on that. I'm going to get on that. Season in Hell, Seth Files Volume 2 is also coming out. And uh, the Untitled Cuddy Slits Project, we're going to try and get that to see the to see the, see the light of day. Oh, what is it titled? The Incarceration of General Ali. All right, so that's what it is anyway. So be on the lookout for The Incarceration of General Ali. And that's what's up, man. You got something to say to him? You got destroy? Holla. Uh, yo, I got uh, Game Over just came out. On an A-Sound, so I put that up. And then, uh, Deep Thinker is releasing a new album called Make It Quake on uh, Real Tradition Records on uh, October 27th. So be on the lookout for that. And there'll be more to come in that whole process. I mean, me and this guy's album, I think it's called The Same. That should be dropped. As soon as y'all niggas stop putting money toward that shit. <laughs> nah, uh, within the next month, man. So I'll be looking for that. Within the next month. And uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff slated for me since we're on the next sound. So just stay tuned to the website. Uh, yeah, Sess and Info Gates working on Project 2. There's just too much shit. Ooh, let's say it. Talk to the people. Talk to the people. What up, people? My name is Info Gates. Gotta get down. What up, though? My name is Info Gates. I'm here with Seth's crew, yo. Uh, I'm drinking some Rooster Booster to get it, to get it popping. But no, we're working on shit. We don't have a name for our project or anything, but it's gonna be retarded. Shout out to Seth. We're about to kill tonight. Help us get the people.